Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Papa Bail, Michael Page, and we're uh, looking at a, a pulse motor here. It's a, <clears throat> it's all the same deal, but uh, I like to think it's different each time I do it. Uh, in this one, we have alternating sequential coils. Uh, so it would be like the close one, and then the next one would be the far one, and then the close one, far one, close one, far one, and then the, you do it twice, basically. One for generation, one for uh, pulsing. And then I'm going to turn the power on. You can see the read switch indicator light flashing. Right there. And we're going to take it, we're going to look and see how much current uh, voltage we can generate. And then uh, I want to see if I can't. You know, like get a pencil or something into a torque test. Right now, all I see is metal. I want like something plastic or wood. So I got a little magnet sticking out. My finger. And it, it slows down a little bit, but you know. It, I'd say it's pretty good. Medium range. So far it's at 125 volts. Easy. 127. It's just going up real slow. So real quick, each coil that's farther out it's going to generate less voltage than the one that's close in. And for a pulsar, each one that's got farther out um, is going to gen generate less torque and more speed. Maybe not more speed, but it's going to have less resistance to it. But it's still going to have an effect, and then the closer ones are, are going to have you know produce more torque, more speed, more generation, because it's in that first and more intense uh, magnetic field. But I think this is a happy medium where we can actually get some stuff done. Don't exactly know why I need torque right now except for something that I might place on top. Good lord. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Please subscribe. Bye now.